Hello friends, in this video demonstration, we're going to see how to install Windows 7 2016. But before we start the installation, let's check the minimum system recommend to install Windows 7 2016. You must have a 1.4 GHz fast drive processor. Your processor must be compatible with x64 instruction set. You must have a 512 MB RAM. But if you are planning to install Windows Server 2016 with the desktop experience installation options, you must have at least 2 GB RAM. Disk space recommend for the system partition is minimum 32 GB free disk space. If your system match with this minimum hardware recommend, on that computer, you can install Windows Server 2016. So let's move to our virtual machine. Already I boot up with the ISO image of Windows Server 2016 on my VM. This is the first screen which we are seeing during the installation process. On this screen, we can select language to install, time and currency format, and keyboard or input method. I'm going to select the default options and then I'm clicking on next button to continue. On this screen, we have to click on install now to start the installation process. On this screen, we have options to select operating system which you want to install. Here we have a total 4 options, Windows Server 2016, Standard Evolution, Standard Evolution with Desktop Experience, Data Center Evolution and Data Center Evolution with Desktop Experience. I'm going to select Data Center Evolution with Desktop Experience. Let's click on Next. Select License and Terms. So select I accept the license terms and then click on Next. Now on the screen we have options for installation type. Now first one is uh, Upgrade Options. But we are going for a clean installation, that's why I'm going to select the second one. Select custom, install windows only. Now on the screen, we have to select the partition on which you are planning to install Windows Server 2016. But for this demonstration, I'm using Oracle VM VirtualBox and we have a hard disk without any partition. So let's create one new partition. Let's specify the size. And let's click on apply. Let's click on OK, click on Next. Now the installation process has been started. This will take some time to complete and once the installation is done, the computer will reboot for at least two times. And finally, you will see a console that asks you for specifying the built-in administrator's password. So after two time restart, system will ask you to set a built-in administrator's password. So let's specify the password for our administrator. And then click on finish. Now let's log into our newly installed Windows Server 2016 computer. Use Ctrl to delete key. Let's specify the password of uh, our built in administrator account which is set earlier. On the first time when you log into your Windows Server 2016 computer, the Saw Manager dashboard console will be automatically opens up. Let's minimize the Windows Server Saw Manager console and let's click on Start button. Select System. On the screen, as you can see, we have a Windows Server 2016 Data Center Evolution Edition installed in our virtual machine. So in this way, we can install Windows Server 2016 Evolution Edition in Oracle VM VirtualBox. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.